What's good? What's good? This is Think of This Think of the Podcast. Hey, do me a favor, subscribe to the channel. Hey, I appreciate all the love and support to all my gente. I hope you're doing good. Ojalá que te estás cuidando, cabrón, porque está poquito caliente afuera ahorita, man. Summertime is going to be hot, so get ready, man. I might get a little bit more brown than this, man. I'm telling you, man, it's going to be crazy. I'm going to get my head off. Hey, look, look, man, don't judge me, man. It, it, it's hot outside in Texas, man. That's just, a, that's just the way Texas give it up. And we ain't even hit the hottest yet. And it's caliente ahorita, man. But hey, who am I to complain? I don't make the weather. I don't change the weather like some of these government. Hey, hey, watch it. Watch what you say. Watch what you say. You know how it is over here. This con conspiracy theories. The flat. The, the earth is flat. The weather's being controlled. And I ain't mean, look. I ain't mean, gonna hear all that. I ain't mean, gonna hear for all that, man. But yo, 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 man. RP Mo three, man. Um, there was a time where um, there was gonna be a group of fellas in the Dallas area. That we're gonna get together and put something straight out of Dallas. We're gonna have Mo3, Yellow BC, Trap Boy Freddy, Maserati, uh, yeah, Maserati, yeah, and then uh, Mr. Hit That. It was gonna be beautiful, man. It was, man. But some, somewhere down the process, man, of all this, it, we never got a, we never got a chance. I don't even know if they got a records together, but it never happened, man. It never happened. But all of them have a, had a very successful career. Unfortunately, we lost Mo3 through the process, man. And it's sad because I think Mo3 right now, man, would have been something something else, man. He was something so different to the city, man. The singing, the aggressive rapping. He 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 had a way to touch all kinds of all kinds of generations, to be honest with you, man. What I mean by that is because there was kids that I used to live like I'd be like, oh, y'all listen to Mo3. And I, I'm talking about people in their 50s listening to Mo3. He he was just a different artist. And I think what really made Mo3 who he is. It's because he came for that. He came from that time when you had to put in that work with them CDs and the flyers. He didn't come around where it was all social media. He came around where he you had to physically go out there, put your music in the streets, and let people listen through the CDs. It was a whole different ball game, right? And then, and a lot of artists could relate to that coming from the city, especially if you've been grinding it out trying to make something happen. Like that's that's your initial goal, initial plan is to make it. But when you start at the very bottom, nobody believes in you pretty much. But you're out there, you know, just pursuing your dreams. So a lot of people I feel like could relate to him and a lot of people related to him because of that. I don't know too much of the backstory about uh Yellow Beezy and Trap Boy, because I really didn't keep up keep up with him too much. But the reason why I, I didn't know much about Mo3 because DJ D Real. He, I, I was connected through a mutual friend that I knew D Real. So I kind of had an idea. D Real was the type of person, man. He just put out CDs after CDs because I know he he hooked up with G Rock. I'm telling you, man, it's a whole backstory behind all this because I've been around to to witness some of these DJs work with each other. So these names like a like a like a D Real and all that, I'm like, hey man. Look, I'm not here to throw no shade. I know that them two didn't get along after a while, but I will say this, man. There was a time, man, where Mo3 was just trying to get it, man. But he cut, he's cut from that cloth. But I know y'all probably like, well, okay, what's the point of this video? Well, I think with this, this new album that he's dropping, I hope that it does what it needs to do. I will be purchasing it, you know what I mean? But um, so far, man, it's been four years since the last, you know, since the demise of, of uh, Mo3, right? But these records ain't really it, man. And they're not saying that they're bad. Look, don't 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 get all upset. I'm not saying that these records are bad. But I think the the what we're missing is Mo3 being here. Because remember when Outside was just a, a basically him rapping, and you saw him, he made you feel that pain. He made you see it and you heard it and you were like, damn, man, he really going through it. So we missing that key element, right? Yes, music could come out, visuals could come out, but it's never going to be the same. These records are not bad. They're, I mean, no, nah, they're, they're not bad, but it's not going to live up to where it is. And I think where I'm not saying that rain, rain water dropped the ball on this one. I'm not saying that because I haven't heard the whole full product, but... And, he, and from my understanding, he put a lot of work and time in this album. Cool, I get it. But I think where, where the problem is, is that the pot was hot. It was extremely hot when Mo3 passed away, unfortunately. And within that time frame, I think we waited a little bit too long. 
Now the timing of it is it's, it's just too far out. You had a period of time that you could have dropped something and be consistent of dropping and keep people engaged. Now it, you give you give people a little bit too much space. They kind of forget, man, and it sucks because Mo three to me, he's a legend in the in the in the state of Texas. He made it at a at a Dallas Fort Worth. He made it. He brought you that different style. He brought you these different elements. So he made it. So to put something out four years later. It's kind of hard to grab people's attention in the time, and it's not, it's not, it's not good time. I don't think it's good time because what are we talking about right now? All we care about is the Kendrick and Drake beef, and that's it. If if this mode three would have been like the second year after he, it would have it would have got some momentum going. Because think about how they did, how what they did with Pop Smoke. Pop Smoke didn't take that long, and it was for me. It was another record. It was like. It felt like Pop Smoke never died. Even now, when you think about it, you be like, man, this dude's still alive sometimes when you hear some of his music. But with Mo3, like I said, it's too early. We're in the early stages. I'm hearing some of the music. I'm liking, I'm vibing it. And I'm, I'm never going to throw no shade at the person that's no longer here, man. That's just not what I do. I know some people are like about that life, about I don't care, man, the person's dead, he did some stuff. But I'm not going to throw no shade, man. That's not that's not who I am as a person. Especially, you know, he got kids, man. What I'm trying to do, man, is just uh, promote positivity. That's it, man. So with this project so far, Tidal Wave and the Blood, is it Bloody Money or Blood Money, whatever? They're, they're cool records. They're cool records, but it's, it's not it's not the expectations that he, I guess it's not living up to the expectations from the last thing that we heard from him. And outside, to me, the way he rapped, God, man, it just... You could just feel it. Like, you could feel the change was coming. You could tell, like, he was rapping, like, through his heart. It was just a whole different element. And to hear him now, and if Rainwater's doing all these cut and paste, you could kind of tell a little bit, but not really. But it's not giving me that outside vibe. When that record came out, you could tell it was a whole different direction, a whole, it could have been a whole different kind of album. And then we we will never get to witness that. But I do hope that with this album that he does drop, it, you know, it does well. Um, me personally, I, I just feel like the timing of from the last thing that we heard from now something new is just too much of a gap, man. It's too much. And you and I'm not saying that the numbers, because numbers, you know, could be fluctuated, whatever. I don't even mess with the numbers from what I'm hearing so far. It sounds good. It sounds good. It doesn't sound bad, y'all. Don't think I'm throwing shade on it. What I'm saying is it doesn't it doesn't give me that outside vibe, that the expectation. But that's because the main person is missing. He's no longer there. If if you take the person that actually created that sound and now you're trying to create it without him, it's never gonna be the same, man. It's not. But I'm enjoying it, man. But that's just my little quick take on it. Uh, like I said, we probably gonna hear some more music and we could probably get an album and let's see how that plays out. Hey, RP Mo3, man. Y'all do me a favor, subscribe to the channel. Si te gusta lo que press like, share this video on your social media platforms, drop a comment in the comment section. I'm always in the act with me, hand to side. Hit the notification bell to get notified. Visit the website r2drec.com. And always remember, have peace in your heart, have faith, and never give up. All right, one. What's good? What's good? This is Stiko. Hey, do me a favor, man. Somewhere on here, you get a chance to check out my other channel. I release all my music there. We have a lot of music coming out this year. Y'all definitely don't want to miss out. Do me a favor as well. Check out the website, r2drec.com. Purchase your merchandise. Let's keep this moving going. Thank you for all the love and support. And thank you for being patient with me. Hey, let's get it this year. All right, one.